So to our right, we have the garage. Okay, nice two-car garage. And what we're going to do is we're going to go upstairs first. There's some really cool stuff upstairs. So let's do that. Now, as you get upstairs to the right, you've got this space here, which could be a TV room, which is what they have it set up for right now. It could be a kid's play area. It could be a little mini den. I mean, you really have a lot of options for what you want to do with it. In front of us, down the hall, we have the upstairs bathroom with a nice deep tub and beautiful tile. Quartz countertop. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of sparkly. Okay. Um, you've got nice storage underneath. So it's a fairly tall countertop or a counter. And then you've got pretty deep drawers. I don't know if you can see all of that. Now, as you exit the bathroom, straight to your right is bedroom number one. And you've got the closet here. And I'm, I'm assuming that this is probably a 10 or 11 by 10 or 11 foot bedroom. As you exit it and turn back to towards the hallway, um, you've got the laundry room, which is pretty spacious. You've got a lot that you can do with a laundry room like this. You've also got the air handler here and the laundry room. Now you do have a linen closet and it's a pretty good size linen closet. And then you have bedroom number two. Okay, so now that we've looked at bedroom number two, let's take a look at the master. Now the master in this home is very impressive. So when you come up the stairs, the master is actually to your left at the top of the stairs. So you've got really nice big closet. And this is kind of a Jack and Jill style where you have one closet here and then you come across the room and you've got another closet here. And sorry, there's a corner of the carpet here that's kicked up and causing me to trip. So I'm trying to kick it back down. It's got some sticky on it, but it's not sticking. All right, so let me go ahead and give you a good shot of what the master bedroom looks like. So from here, you've got one closet to your right, and then you've got the other closet to your left. You can see that. Now, the master bathroom is ginormous. There's the water closet. And again, double vanity, quartz countertop, lots of drawer space, lots of under counter space. Take a look at all of this. And then you've got this beautiful tub um, with gorgeous tile. Or not tub, I should say it's beautiful shower. That's what I meant to say. So you've got this very large shower stall and uh, just absolutely beautiful. All right, so we're going to walk out away from the master. And head downstairs. Now, when you get to the end of the stairs, 
The front door is there. The garage door is there. And then you come around. Oh, and by the way, if you have never been to my channel, my name is Vince Reyna. I'm a local real estate agent here in Central Florida. If you have any questions or you'd like to uh, book a, a phone call with me, just go to talkwithvince.com right here or in the description, talkwithvince.com, set up uh, a schedule, and I'll be more than happy to talk to you and see what we can do to help you. All right, let's keep going with the tour. All right, so I've got my notes with me. That means I'm smart. And uh, first of all, the home that we're looking at today is in the Hawthorne Ranch subdivision or community in South Lakeland. This is a very large or soon to be very large community. Um, we are looking at the Morales and this is an MI Homes community. And MI Homes is a little bit different as far as building goes. They are not a cookie cutter, you know, build it and you get what you get and that's it. They are a semi custom home build. Now what that means for you is you have a lot of choices on what you want to do and what you want to have in your home. And to give you an example, they have two different lots. They have a 40 foot and a 60 foot. If you get the 40 foot, you get a two car garage. If you get the 60 foot, you get a three car garage. All of that is negotiable based on your price range and, and all of that. So you have choices from three bedroom, two and a half bath to four bedroom, three full bath. Um, you have choices as far as square footage from 2,143 square feet on up to 2,277 square feet, depending on what you choose. So I'm trying to keep this as you know simple as possible, but there's a lot to it, trust me. Um, the two homes that we're gonna look at today, uh, this one is the Morales, and um, it is a two-story home. And again, two to three garage spaces, depending on which, which you choose. Now, as far as um, what's included in the HOA, there are HOA rules, there are, um, the, well, there's an amenity center, um, let's see here, about 10 miles worth of walking trails, which is really cool, about a 5,000 square foot um, resort style pool, and then a, a clubhouse with a full gym. So those are the things that they're looking at building, but they haven't built just yet. Now, what do you get? Um, well, how much do you pay for all of that? The HOA itself is $40, that's $40 a month. Now, when it comes to the CDD, which there is a CDD, unfortunately, you're looking at different prices based on the home sites. So a 40-foot home site, the CDD is $1,890 per, per year. Um, for a 50-foot home site, you're looking at $2,105. And then for a 60-foot home site, you're looking at $2,267. So when you do the math, you're still under $300, under $200, and, you know, whatever dollars. Um, for HOA and CDD. So that's not really that bad considering what you're getting. Now, I want to show you um, a little, if I can give you a snapshot of what's around. Can you see that? <laughs> so you've got all these different schools. You've got all these different things in the community. Now, I used to live uh, very close to here. Um, I used to live in South Lakeland off of Shepherd Road. This community is off of Pipkin, which is probably a couple of miles away from Shepherd. So it's not very far. And um, just recently, within the past few years, there was a Publix shopping plaza that was built right off of County Line Road, which really kind of facilitates this community. So you've got a brand new Publix, you've got some restaurants there and whatnot. To get into town and go, you know, let's say you wanted to go to the movies or whatever, you've got Lakeside Village, which is the giant outdoor mall in South Lakeland with the AMC movie theater and all of the restaurants and shops and shopping and all of that stuff. That's probably five to 10 minutes away. Um, if you wanted to go to Aldi, again, you're probably 10, maybe 15 minutes, depending on which way you go. Uh, to get to 60, uh, State Road 60, to get into Brandon, let's just say, or to, to you know get into Tampa that way, or to get into um, I-4, you're probably 10 minutes from either one. Uh, probably shorter getting to, to 60 than it would be getting to I-4. Uh, but still, you're within, you know, five to eight minutes to get to, to 60. You're probably 10 minutes, maybe no more than 12 to get to I-4. And so from I-4, you can head out to Orlando or you can head out to Tampa. From uh, 60, you can go out to uh, Lake Wales and, um, you know, on one side, you go to Brandon and Tampa on the other side. So you've got a lot of options for 
where you want to be. There's a lot of stuff around you as far as tons of schools. Um, you're not very far, maybe 15, 20 minutes from downtown Lakeland. So you've got Munn Park, you've got the, uh, the library there, you've got um, you know, all of the, the shops and, what down, and whatnot in, in downtown Lakeland. And then if you go the other way down Florida Avenue, which you're probably another 10, 15 minutes from Florida Avenue, you've got all the businesses there. So whether you need to get an oil change, get your tires rotated, you know, whether you want to go to a nice restaurant, there's all kinds of stuff on Florida Avenue. And you're fairly close to pretty much everything within 10 to 15 minutes. So it's very, very centrally located the way that Lakeland has, you know, kind of been built up. So let's talk a little bit more about um, the number of homes that are going to be built in this community. When you include the townhomes that are also going to be built, you're looking at a total of about 1,200 homes. Um, at this point, they just started. So right now they're in the second beginning of the second phase. And so the semi-custom homes, they've only built 50. So they've still got a long ways to go. You've got, you know, plenty of time to be able to get in there and, and take a look and see if this is something you really want to explore. Now, when it comes to um, what you get that's included, and this is important because some builders don't include a whole lot. Uh, some of them don't even include a refrigerator. But this builder, MI Homes, actually re they actually include the refrigerator, the range, uh, the microwave, the dishwasher, washer and dryer, and depending on which which um, you know home style you choose, even a double oven. So that's really cool. I would really look at that as being a pretty big boon as a buyer, considering the homes start under four hundred thousand and work their way up from there. So they've got some homes which we'll look at in another video that are over five uh, five bedrooms and they're just enormous. So, you know, this home is, again, between 2,143 and 2,277 square feet, which is plenty for most families or most people. Um, okay, now let's talk about warranties. They have a one-year full warranty, so it's kind of a bumper to bumper, and then they have a 10-year structural warranty as well as a 10-year uh, warranty on uh, construction defects. Now, all of that comes with the purchase, and all of that is transferable which is very important because if something happens within that 10 years and you have to move, you got a job opportunity or whatever the case may be, you know, you want to be able to transfer that to the new owner and make that a bonus for them purchasing your home. Uh, hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully we'll keep you here, but you kind of get the idea. Now let's talk about what you actually get in terms of seller concessions. And this is huge, guys. You're getting $40,000 in flex cash and then $10,000 for your down payment. So what's flex cash? Flex cash is, it's flexible cash that you can use for a number of different things. So when you're purchasing a home, whether it's a brand new home with a new home builder or whether it's uh, a pre-loved home, whatever the case may be, you have a down payment, okay? You have um, closing costs, and then you have your interest rate. Now you can pay down your interest rate. So let's say for example, your situation is such that you have a fairly high interest rate, higher than what most people would pay. With a home like this, you can take that $40,000 in flex cash and take half of it and buy that interest rate down to get it to a level that really works for you. You can put it all in there if you've got enough, you know, for down payment, um, you know, aside from the down payment, the $10,000 uh, that they're giving you and closing costs. So depending on what you have in the bank, you can take this flex cash, this $40,000 and apply it however you want. You can put some of it on your, you know, of course you've got the 10,000 in down payment, but you can put some of it on the interest rate, you can put some of it on your closing costs. You can put all of it, it just however you want to do it, whatever's going to work best for your finances, which is why this is just such a great way to go. The, I think for me, the coolest thing about this situation is that it is semi-custom, which means you can choose what you want. When you're looking at a static builder, um, you know, some of the homes that are out there right now, they have one or two, maybe three or four different home styles. And what they, you know, what they have in them is what they have in them. You get to choose based on what they've built or, you know, the home styles that they're building. But you don't get to choose anything as far as there's no flexibility in terms of, you know, do you want a two car? Do you want a three car? Do you want a four, uh, a 40 square foot or a 40 foot um, a lot? Do you want a 60 foot lot? You know, none of those things are really that negotiable when you're dealing with a home like that. With a home like this or with a builder like this, you have the choice of doing whatever you want to do. 
And of course they have, you know, stipulations and whatnot, but for the most part, they're very flexible and you can kind of, you know, run through whatever your choices are and decide what's going to be best for you. You come out to the right and you have the hall bathroom, which is the half bath. So you've got your toilet, sink, and then a small linen closet. Okay. Now, as you exit that, right next to it is another kind of a den area. Um, not really sure what they have in mind for this. I think right now it's just kind of an office, but we're going to talk about what you can do with these homes because they are semi-custom. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay. Now we've got the living room. And the dining room. So you've got a pretty large dining room. And by the way, over here to the left, you've got the back porch, which I'm going to go ahead and step outside and try to show you. The porch is really deep. So it's very wide, I'll put it that way. Very wide. And you've got plenty of room to put everything that you want in a back porch here. And then we're going to come back inside and take a look at the kitchen. So again, we have quartz countertop, and I'm going to take a, a little bit closer look at that so you can see how nice and sparkly it is. You've got a nice double sink, a pantry. and then all stainless steel appliances. And that's a side-by-side, -side. the freezer on the left, the refrigerator on the right. You've got lots of cabinet space that can be rearranged a little bit. Yeah, we'll slide over here. And you've got your microwave and your range, as well as your dishwasher. And so I'm going to take a shot around here so you can see kind of the depth and how the kitchen and the living room and dining room look together. So that is the Miramar in Hawth Hawthorne Ranch, ha, Hawthorne Ranch in South Lakeland. This is an absolutely beautiful home, and um, you know we'll see you on the next video. Oh, and by the way, if you have any questions or any concerns, if you'd like to set up an appointment for a showing or just want to talk to me about the process, um, please go to talkwithevents.com. Again, that's talkwithevents.com. And uh, that is my calendar link. You can set yourself up on my calendar for a phone conversation. Uh, no pressure, you know, none of that. We're just going to sit down, have a conversation, see how I can help you, and then go from there. So we'll see you on the next video.